Hello my soccer universe, it is high time that I start my jersey reviews for the 23-24 season and as it has become custom now I'm starting with the Austrian Bundesliga because that's the uh, league that is now running the longest and I probably have the best view of the jerseys from. All the jerseys that you see in here I have taken pictures from Football Kit Archive and I will rate them on a scale from 1 being the worst to 10 being the best. And I will split them over three videos of four teams each. The Austria Bundesliga has 12 teams. And for that, I'm taking last season's final standing ex uh, exchange uh, for the um, relegated team, the promoted team, Blau by Slint. And I go one to three, three to one. And we'll see which teams we have in each video. And in this second part, uh, we have now Sturm Graz. Uh, we have Austria Wien. And we have the two Vorarlberg teams, Lustenau and Altach. And like with part one, I want to start in the reverse order. So we'll start at Altach and then work ourselves up to Sturm Graz. Uh, Altach are supplied by Jaco. And for this season, they decided to uh, not have white home jerseys, but rather have an entirely black and white number where only the league logo is not monochromatic. And it makes for a very interesting and very stark look. There's also kind of this uh, wavy pattern, I would assume, representing the Fallback Mountainscape there, because we had a similar pattern in 2018 for the Austrian national team. So uh, that adds a little bit interest there. To me, a, that the league logo is not monochromatic kind of destroys a teeny bit of the look but uh what's more is i have the feeling this looks a little bit too much like an away jersey to me on the other side among the jerseys from the austrian bundesliga this is actually almost a standout i gotta say so yeah um i still don't cannot go high i'm gonna give this a six here as i said the away jersey white with black accents and then you have the yellow. The yellow is a bonus of contention for Alta fans because this is from the sponsor Cashpoint who is putting a lot more yellow on there but you also get it from the Pfanner uh, which is a fruit juice and the Austrian Bund Bundesliga. Uh, a little bit too much splash of color in there and then you're all also a little bit green but I have to say these splashes of the sponsor actually make the jersey more than they break it. It's really weird to, to me. I do like that one better. I also like this more traditional uh, diagonally shadow stripe pattern, which goes very much back to Adidas uh, in the late 80s. There's something there that the monochromatic jersey did not have, and I actually want to go as high as seven. Yes, for the Austrian Bundesliga, this one is actually quite good. And I gotta say, their rivals, Lustenau, we, who are very, very close by, their home jersey holds a lot of interest to me. Uh, it's a second Ulsport jer uh, jersey in the Austrian league. And while the, raglan, the white raglan sleeves, maybe I'm not that big of a fan of, I have to say uh, the shadow pattern that's inside of, the, of, of this jersey with the big Austria Lusner crest and then some um, detailing from the city and the uh, coat of arms and 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 so on and the fans in in the background actually, actually did there's quite some sounds something to look at add to it that the sponsors are relatively small and i know that in in the league i think they have a little bit of a bigger sponsor but uh it doesn't really um stand out so much i have to say the only thing i would get rid of are the hervis sponsors here on the top this one is actually quite good again ursp doing much better things that one would expect from such a brand um, it's not up there with Blauweiss Linz, that's for sure, but I would give this a 7 star as well. The away jersey, though, yeah, that's boring. I mean, it's basically a white jer jersey with all kinds of logos slapped on, and for that reason, I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna give this a high grade just, just, just for it. It's, it's really just, just boring. I think the sponsors are even a little bit overbearing. Uh, yeah, it's useful, but in that config configuration i think if this would have a little bit you know sleeves as a little bit pattern in there i'm honestly gonna give this uh, just a three we have seen austria Vienna last season already they are reusing a jersey from last season and i actually did not praise the home jersey enough i think that my main gripe with that one is that the home jersey is purple with the uh, golden that actually looks nice 
has a golden side strap, but that is not replicated on the pants, which has a white side strap. So I think this is a chance missed, and this is my biggest uh, gripe I have with the entire look. But I have to say, I have gotten around to this jersey to liking it a little bit more um but i think it's still right around there at the seven star range that i gave it last season but i have changed my stance on the away jersey i gave it eight stars to be honest well i find the sleeves interesting i don't find the coloring that befitting of austria vienna i think if those sleeves were purple I would just like this a whole lot, lot better. Uh, this is again a little bit sponsor colors taking over too much. And so I want to lower this for two grades. Still not a bad jersey. It actually looks quite nice, but it's not a great one either. So I'm going to go six here. And then we finish at a team where I liked the jerseys last season a whole lot. Sturm Graz. I cannot tell you my this disappointment when, when I saw this one. This is basic, basic Nike template. And again, Sturm Graz are among the teams then I now have teamed up with 11 team sports uh, to get Nike jerseys. And what they do is they take a template and slap a crest on it and a huge sponsor. And honestly, uh, the slightly grayish sleeves just add to the rather weird and odd template. And for, well, I do not mind the all black look for Sturm Graz. This one is a little bit too little. To be honest, it is just bland and bleh. After the beautiful black and white striped shirt that they had last last season, this is a definite letdown. So uh, I know it fits with the nickname of the club, which is the Blackies, um, or the fans call themselves the Blackies, um, but it doesn't do it for me, honestly. It's not a bad jersey per se, but I find that this particular timetable is also not a great one. So I'm going to go six here and the away jersey. What I like is that here it goes monochromatic. And I think monochromatic works a little bit better for an away jersey. But again, same boring. No, maybe not, not even the same table, but it looks kind of boring. Overall, nothing exciting at all. The only thing is it's not, I mean, on this picture particular, but even in, in the league, it's not really covered up in too much in sponsors. So it doesn't look half as bad. I will still go down a little bit and give this just a five star, but at least um, I, it is a teeny bit better. So yeah, we're done with this portion of the league. The next video will contain uh, some more big hitters in there, although we had two big ones here as well. Let me know which jerseys you liked within this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did so and stay around for the final part three. Up until then. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!